Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Brems Hexic. And as you can guess from its name, it's again another idea from Brem Cohen. You may have seen Brems Magic in a previous uh, video or actually uh, previous videos of mine. And Brems Hexic is the same concept of having six balls that are connected in a loop. But now instead of uh, four openings, there are six. So before showing you uh, how it works, I'm taking uh, one of the earlier prototypes. You know many of my prototypes they fail. And this one failed because I got the dimensions slightly wrong. But anyway, uh, when you look at the inside, what you see is a whole set of grooves. And these grooves uh, make sure that the balls can turn in one direction, but they cannot uh, pivot in this direction. So that makes it a uh, real puzzle. The way it works is uh, similar to uh, Bram's magic. That is, you make it shift uh, shape and suddenly it's in a different state. And now I'm already confused in how to make it straight again. Oh, it's straight already and it's not yet scrambled. Uh, interesting. So, actually I have no clue um, how this uh, thing should work or turn and it looks, ah, it looks it's already uh, getting scrambled. Uh, that's, that's good. So, um, my question to you about this uh, thing is, how many different states do you think that this puzzle has? Thank you for watching. So this part of the video was uh, made a couple of weeks uh, after the first part of the video. So now I have learned how to scramble this uh, puzzle and also the type of moves that I can make with it. So we start from a rectangle and one of the obvious moves is uh, to make uh, a hexagon and to make this type of uh, triangle. Another fun move that you can make is by uh, taking the rectangle, skew it a little bit like this and then fold it into a V-shape. And once you have it in the V-shape, you can make this type of motion and it becomes an upside down V or a straight V again or an upside down V again. And at the upside down uh, state, you can unfold it and it becomes a rectangle again. Another move that I found was from the rectangle and let's see whether it works. Yes, to pull these outward from each other and pull them like this. So these are some of the moves that I managed to make with the puzzle. I know now how to scramble it. I do not yet know how to solve it. 